Hello everyone, it's Asha Marka here, Lemon Creation. Welcome to Altered Pumpkin YouTube Hop. We are so happy that you decided to join us in this Halloween adventure. And here is the list of our sponsors and your opportunity to win some amazing prizes. The Hop rules are really simple. You need to watch all of our videos, like and subscribe to our channel and comment on every single one of them, giving us the country you are coming from. You have one week to play and the names of lucky winners will be drawn and published at the beginning of November. So let's start! For this project I will be altering two pumpkin candle holders and my idea is to change them completely, adding a little creepiness to both of them. Uh, because that's what Halloween is mostly about, right? Firstly, I removed all the flowery decorations and covered them with uh, black gesso from PBO. I did add two layers of gesso to be sure that the coverage was good, drying the first layer well before uh, adding the second one. I took a few small twigs, uh, they are dry twigs, from elderberry flowers and covered them also as well as possible with the gesso, so they will get uh, more darker. Uh, this was a tricky enough part as they are very, very fragile. Coming back to my pup uh, pumpkins, <laughs> when the gesso dried well, uh, I added some crackle paste uh, from Finavar, making it kind of fall from the top of the pumpkins uh, till uh, more or less halfway through. Uh, after adding the paste, I needed to wait overnight to get the paste dry and get this beautiful heavy crackle effect. Uh, drying this type of paste with heat gun uh, will, get, uh, will get you much less of a crackle and a tiny one at that, so patience here is very important. Another thing you can do is to add some small or big art stones, these ones are also from Finavar, while the paste is still wet. They will adhere to it beautifully and you'll get more interest and more texture that way. This is the effect I got after all is dry, love that texture. Time to add some color and somehow I lost the part of the recording when I added marigold yellow orange to the pumpkins, but what I did was to simply spray it over the pumpkins and let it dry with heat gun. Then I added Hagsward uh, orange, that's magical, also from Lindy's Gang, by dissolving it firstly with water on the working surface and then using a brush to paint over where needed. And this color has a gorgeous green shine to it, which hopefully you can see just soon enough. A look at this color and this gorgeous green shine, uh, quite visible on the black surface. To add even more shine, I rubbed gently Inca Gold in orange onto the texture surface, uh, just to accentuate the uneven unevenness of it. <laughs> Since these are candle holders, 
I needed to obviously add some candles. I had a hard time to find nice corn-like candles in this color, uh, so I had to settle with these two ones and I used hot glue gun to stick them to the holders. Uh, for the embellishments, I wanted to use some spiders and some balls of different sizes to portray the eggs from which one day even more spiders will hatch. Scary, no? <laughs> I took some Halloween decoration spiders and some deco wall, uh, balls and covered them all with black gesso, at the end adding touches of orange Inca gold and of course cutting off the wires some of uh, the balls came with. Because the candles are quite tall, even though later I lighted uh, them up so they can look more realistic and also shorter, um, I wanted to add some black accents to them by using this type of lace. I covered uh, with it the base of the candle, uh, added tiny bit of 3D mud gel so it will stay in place and added temporary pieces of wire to keep them in place until the glue sets in. Later, of course, this wire will be uh, removed. And since I love wires on my project a lot and I rarely see wire on Halloween decorations, I wanted to spice uh, up things a little and also add long wires to the candles. This one will stay in place. Next step was to adhere all the elements to the pumpkins and candles and I used hot glue gun to do so. I think I was getting impatient at this point and even though I know that with time the elements uh, glued this way may fall off, I wanted to skip the waiting part simply. Either way, these pumpkins are for home use only and once a year so I can permit myself to do this. If you however want your embellishments to be glued permanently, I advise you to use uh, either 3D gel or other strong glue. Um, for the final touches, I used uh, some black mica flakes from 13 Arts and some black uh, micro beads. 
uh, adhering them with 3D match gel and covering the places where the hot glue was still a little visible. This also will add more hold to the embellishments I placed earlier. And my fetish element for Halloween projects, uh, spider webs. I just love them and hate them at the same time. <laughs> they are beautiful, add a lot of Halloween feel, but they are sticking to everything, including my hands. And it was a challenge uh, to place them nicely enough on the pumpkins with so many textures and embellishments. Uh, but you know, once stuck, they will not go off easily as well. <laughs> To be sure they stay in place, uh, I glued them on the bottom of the pumpkins with a black uh, circle I made and 3D matcher. Another secret weapon of mine for Halloween and Christmas projects is flock. Uh, white flock looks like a snow and the yellow uh, or orange one I added here, um, even if the color is a little brighter than the candles, looks great on this project. The flock is so fluffy that it makes, uh, to me anyway, the project so much better and kind of look like a dust covering the spiders and the erects. I have to admit, this was not an easy project for me. I'm more of a flat surface uh, project girl. Uh, but I love how my candles look at the end. My children are happy to have another scary decoration for Halloween. And I do hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully learn something new today. Uh, as for the rules of our hop, please check the description box below where you'll find full list of participants, sponsors and the rules as well as your next hop stop. Thank you so much for watching and scary Halloween. Bye bye.